Well, hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and thank you for joining me again for another episode of Farming Simulator 2022. Yes, we are here in Elm Creek, and uh, yep, yeah, we've successfully avoided the train. Now, you might notice uh, something a little cheeky here. I'm heading away from a field that we did not work on last episode with a bunch of silage bales. Yeah, between episodes, I did go in and work on a contract in order to, uh, yeah, start getting us a little more out of debt. So we'll just get these to its new, these to their new home, and then we'll go into and have a look at uh, what we have officially been uh, up to. As you can see, there's a much larger pile, so we'll just pull right up. And we will park these right here. Oops, got a little too close, but it's fine, completely fine. So let's have a look at our contracts. As you can see, twenty-eight thousand uh, dollars that we can collect on. Thank you very much. And while we're here, we're gonna grab field seventy fertilizing contracts. So why don't we do that? So we can get a little bit more money. And before that disappears, so we have $31,000. So let's come into our budgets and let's reduce. Oops, wrong way, Sargon, wrong way. Pay back. Okay, we'll pay off. I think that was $20,000 of that loan. Park that, leave that there. And what we're gonna do is something extremely important. Uh, if we come in and have a look at our animals, our sheep are fine, our chicken. Ooh, yeah, before we move on the next month. But our cows, they're out of food. That is horrendous. Just back into the shed. Since I left this here, it must mean there is... Oh. I was about to say, it must mean there's some food, but nope. That is all gone. So let's make a quick quick bin here of uh, TMR for the moo cows. Well, we can add in here. Well, in theory, we can add in a silage bale and a hay bale here at the same time. Uh, just see if we can. Yeah, like butter. Just like a professional would do. Okay, so that is underway. We'll grab a full straw bale over here. It's like, well, is this the full one? I can't remember. Yep, one full straw bale. And let's turn on a little help here so we can see the, the mixture as we go. Now we mucked this up, not last time, but the time before. Oh, uh, let's bring that out. So I think we're going to take a bit of the hay bale that we have here. And here we go. This should keep us in the magical range. Looks good. Looks good. I think that's good enough for, uh, oh, no, you know what? No, that's not good enough. Let's take this straw bale that we have here. And I'm hoping in the near future to get that, uh, modded building that will basically premix the TMR to perfection. And we just need to drive underneath. But for the here and now, we've got other more important things to buy. Now let's make sure our cows are fully fed because our milking empire is second only to our chicken empire at this point. So, but that will likely change. I think we're still, still good. Okay, uh, let's take that over to the uh, cow barn. Yes, we are still in the total mix ration category here. You know, if I was a cow, since I haven't been, well, 
I've been feeding the cows. Please, nobody call the authorities. They just ran out of food. Uh, and that is empty. Okay, let's just park this back where we uh, make the TMR mix. We can leave that here. And you know what? We should probably uh, practice safety first. Uh, let's not leave a straw bale just hanging in the air. Perfect. And I think what we're going to do, uh, we'll find our fertilizer. Okay, it's over there. Now, I believe that is seed. Does not look like we have any fertilizer at the farm. Well, we've we've got the got the slurry, but we're not going to use the slurry on that contracted field because it's just going to take take too long. Let's see how much do we have in the. Uh, ooh, that's not enough. And we just need to do a very quick uh, top up. Uh, two bags should be more than enough for our purposes uh, today. And now off to the field. So now we're just going to set this off on a worker to take care of things while we take care of our own farm. The first thing we're going to do is hop in. Uh, hmm, what do we have here? Uh, I guess we'll take, uh, fill up the trailer sorghum. Nope, we're not selling it. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, we need to make sure our chicken empire is fully functioning. Taking care of our dairy empire. But our chickens will be out of food as soon as we move to the month of October. As we figure out why we're just bopping over the trigger. Okay, there we go. Can't remember how much this takes. Okay. Thankfully, not half the trailer. Well, it actually might take half the trailer if the chicken coops had no food. But there is uh, some food. Mm mm mm. Yummy sorghum. There we go. Just take this back. Let's put it back right in the silo, right where we got it. Ooh, money, money, money. Have to do something about that wall as well in the very near future. Spin, spin, spin. Okay, so with that, we have some other things to do. And if we look at the crop calendar, we need to get a canola planet. So what we're going to do... Uh, this time we're going to try something different that is empty and let's go head to the store to uh, play with our new temporary toy. We're actually going to try this uh, direct drill. We can't obviously afford it, so we'll come in and lease it. It is $5,600, so yes, we will borrow that. We have uh, plenty of seed at the uh, at the farm but no fertilizer so we will come in as well and we'll, well we can only afford one bag so let's let's put one bag of fertilizer in this is the first time I'm using a direct drill but my understanding this will save us plenty of time we won't need to uh, cultivate and uh, we won't have to worry about the stones so we'll unfold things here. Try to get ourselves lined up just a tad better. There we go. Just lower things down. Turn things on. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. This is nice. Where have you been, all serious? Well, in all seriousness, we've been spending money elsewhere. But this is a good investment. Yeah, we didn't buy it. Uh, we borrowed it. But we have all but our sunflower fields to worry about at this point. And that requires our planter anyway. So, yeah. So we have this. Well, we're going to do that field. We have these two fields of canola to do. As well as that field. So a total of four fields today. Just back things up here. 
Now, I did notice we are not quite fully ready to tackle this field. Actually, I think we're fully ready for this field. We do have to mulch that canola field. We didn't get to it. And we're really running low on money. But the good news, the good news is the fact that our fertilizing contract is almost done. So we'll be able to take that tractor and not only take that tractor, but take the money we're making. There we go, get over the edge that we're making uh, from the fertilizing contract to actually pay for a helper to mulch this field. Now, who the heck, who, who the heck left the mulcher in that position? That's terrible. Shame, shame. Okay, just move that in time as our contract was finishing up. So, well, perfect, I guess. But what we're going to do, uh, we will first get around the headland. Uh, and then we'll set this temporarily on a helper. I would much prefer to use this than the mulcher. But I need to get our tractor, as uh, well as the fertilizer, back here. Because we do need that tractor. Well, I need the money. I need, I need them. Well, I need both. Please. Please give me back my tractor. We need both. It's not, this is, you know, going well, pretty good. We should have some, ooh, flickering. Naughty, naughty flickering. Hmm. Don't know why that, you know, that happens on occasion. I haven't seen it that bad in a while. So let's not look in that direction. Let's kind of ignore that uh, while we set this off on a helper. We can just uh, pick this up now. Now, hang on, hang on. I'm pretty sure this is done, but we've uh, need to learn from past uh, issues. Yes, it is completed. Perfect. So we'll collect on that fifteen thousand dollars, and I think we used about sixty percent. I think we were about seventy-ish percent full. So, but that little extra fertilizer will help. Uh, take care of our our own fields. So we can leave one the fertilizer, two the fertilizing implement right there for now. I do want to get this tractor on the go. There we go. Now let's try not to mulch uh, this guy's uh, lawn here. I may have done that on our own field. Perfect. There we go. Mulching away. Put on a helper. We can come back and we can take over. This is going to be a sweet dream to use. And actually, before we... Let's just kind of clean that up. But I do want to see if I can... Uh, top up this there we go take all that fertilizer just make it uh you know one last trip one last thing to worry about hopefully the 52 percent that we have is going to be more than enough as we bang out our fields
Well, we're just finishing up the first canola field, and we're doing quite well. Uh, plenty of seed, plenty of fertilizer, plenty of missed bits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that didn't work out as well as I had hoped, but we're still we're still in good shape. I'm I'm fine with where we're at. Hopefully, this first person camera view. I didn't actually miss any. Yeah, it looks like we're good. We got this little bit here. Now, I would love, 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 love to go around this edge along the creek bed. But our mulcher is not done yet. So that means we're going to try to work our way up here. And let's see how successful we were with that turn. Uh, it's not bad. Not bad. Okay, I'll, I'll buy that. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. So this is definitely saving us a lot of time and a lot of money. Okay, we don't need to cultivate. We don't need to stone pick. And then we don't need to go with the cedar. So basically this is a th three and one. And actually I think with our cultivator, since we are also putting down fertilizer, it is a four and one. So that is amazing. Okay. Oh, it's gonna go. I was about to go along the headland too. I'm like, la la la. Like, nope, nope. Can't do that, Sargon. Well, I guess I could, but we would run into issues. Now, I could have jaunted over to that field, which we still need to do, or the far field where we had our oats. But nope, nope. We will come along and we will finish the canola. That is going to be our main objective here today. But we've done quite well, uh, including leaving a nice little patch there when we first came in. So let's get that. Make the turn. How will this work? Okay, we're good. It's cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I definitely think this is either something we'll buy in the future or perhaps just borrow. It'd be nice if we get one on sale, but we do not have a lot of money at this point. We are we're we we are rich in product and land, but we are not rich in actual bank account dollars. Oh, Sargon, will this work? Uh, you know, we'll... we'll, we'll ugh, okay, that was bad. Okay, I take full responsibility for that jig. Did not go as planned. We'll see if we can clean this up a bit. But thankfully, the mulcher is almost done. So, I think what we will be able to do is... After this particular turn, we can start going around the headland. It's funny, I think I have the same amount of space, actually probably even less. Okay, let's back that bus up. Oh, that did not work out well. Yep, you can see uh, just a little small shifts. Oh, dang it. Okay, so we're going to overlap here. See what we can do to fix things. Ah, our mulcher is done. That is good news. So I think what we'll do as we go to solve this little patch here, we'll jump in. Actually, what we're we going to do. We will come around. We will set this off on a helper temporarily. Because we might as well get that tractor and mulcher completely out of the way. Back this up. Ah. Well, thankfully we're not uh, counting on that grass. It did a little mulching. It's fine. It's fine. 
Uh, with the mulcher away, we might as well tuck this tractor away for now. Come in and grab back. Well, that didn't... Uh, it was on its own path here. Okay, we need to back up. Lower it. There we go. Let's see if we can keep that as tight as we need to. What we'll do is we'll do a jaunt around the headland. Yeah, okay. I am drifting badly here. I think, you know, I'm kind of just used to when I do uh, cultivate the field to have some rows to follow from the cultivator, but I do not have that this time, so it's just one big mulched field. Let's just make sure we don't go up, get a train, or have the train hit us. That would be bad. If it hit the direct drill, that'd be fine. It's not mine. I mean, I, I take care of all, all of my equipment equally. So things, things are turning, oh, things are turning around. Things have been going great, so, oh, except for that drift. Definitely need to do a bit of overlap. And things are going well here in Elm Creek. We, uh, our dairy empire, smashing. Our egg empire is about to explode again. We were a little cheeky uh, last time, so we got a pile of silage over there in addition to our previous silage we'll get at least one more cut maybe two cuts actually before the big uh, january silage sale so that will be nice that will add a lot of money into our bank account let's see what else do we have we have a bunch of honey that should be ready to sell shortly. Okay, let's do this. What else do we have to sell? I, I don't know where we stand on the milk. Let's actually pause that. Come in, have a look-see. Here at 9,000 liters, check our production. Okay, next month we'll have to get our milk over. Canola, still, still pushing the canola through. Lettuce, ooh, we are gonna have to get some water in there too. So that is, I think, a next time thing, but it's going quite well. Just to give you an idea as we let the helper do their thing, you can see the silage we currently have on the farm, $200,000. The eggs, ooh. Another two hundred thousand dollars. We got some butter and cheese worth a hundred thousand. Some honey, the canola oil, which you know what is no longer seems as lucrative compared to what we've got uh, elsewhere. But it's still being produced. That's fine. But as you can see, next month October. Okay, we're not selling the milk, but we can sell the butter and cheese. So quite happy to be uh, doing that. Oh, mm, ah. Yeah, that, that is totally on me. I can't be too mad at the helper. I, I put them in this uh, conundrum here. Oh, I always forget when I take over from the helper, need to lower the implement. I do wish, I do really wish it was easier to take over uh, from a helper and just continue. But it's fine. We'll manage. Yeah, we're, we're managing to uh, grow the farm. Make some great money. I think what we're going to be looking at is next month. We just might be able to finally do something with all that wool we've been collecting. We've been hoarding it, but it hasn't been making us any money. It's just been sitting there. 
probably should have sold some, but I think we're at the point where a spinnery is in order. And I think the butter and milk is going to help us uh, help us do that for sure. But uh, before we move on to the month of October and get all that sweet, sweet butter and uh, cheese money. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. This, 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 that. Oh, okay. That's that's just painful. I think it's probably a little too faint, painful for you guys to continue to watch. So I will finish this off. But I think we'll finish this episode up here. I hope you enjoyed it. I do appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.